Hey there, I am back with another deck review, and today we're going to be looking at the Bebel playing cards from designer Yif. Now, Bebel is a street magician in Paris, France, but he goes far beyond that. He is an absolute legend of the street magic scene there. His trademark is the cane that he carries around with him as he travels the streets of Paris, sets up shop, performs some just beautiful close-up magic for some spectators uh, before moving on. Now, since his early beginnings, he has absolutely exploded as a legend within the overall magic scene, extremely well known for his high level of skill in close-up magic. And so he's kind of become internationally famous as an, a bit, and is a bit of an ambassador for French magic throughout the world. I'll put a link to a couple of videos where you can check out some of his card magic. It's really worth checking out. The guy's got a lot of skill. Very, very cool work that he does. Uh, but let's take a look at this deck of cards that bears his name. Uh, so starting with the tuck case, you have this beautiful, very slightly embossed deck that features his likeness there in the front. So you can kind of see uh, his face there. Uh, but his face is made up in this beautiful watercolor painting. And the detail of it is kind of elements of the Paris streets at night. Whether it be the buildings, you've got the street lamps up here, you've got a bit of an abstract bird there in the corner, trees forming up his hair. And you can get that close up there and you can see that beautiful level of detail that went into that watercolor. It's a really beautifully painted scene. Uh, you have two elements of the writing here. You've got Le Jeu des Carpes, which is playing cards in French, and then Bebel written in beautiful style down here. So you've got this highly flourished B, and then the L is kind of half of the Eiffel Tower. So really nicely done. A lot of blue hues on this is kind of blues and grays, um, which is kind of reinforcing that nighttime feel that they were going for. So really nicely done on that. Like I said, the embossing is really subtle on this. An interesting uh, finish on the tuck case. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's kind of a linen finish to the tuck case, which you don't get a lot of, but it gives it an interesting feel. On the sides, on one side, you've got produced by I.M., I believe uh, just one of the people who's involved in the deck. Uh, and this kind of feathery flourish coming out here almost looks like hands that are holding that paper in the center. And then on the other side, same hands or flourish there. It says designed by Yif and artwork by Celine. Uh, the bottom has some ad copy on this couple of banners here. So you've got supervised by Hanson Chen and printed in, or uh, yeah, printed in Taiwan by I.M. And then on the top, you've got Le Jeu des Cartes, Bebel, written, and it's covered up by the tuck seal. You've got the back design of the cards here that we'll take a look at in a second. And then you have the uh, custom tuck seal here. It's kind of the French flags. So you've got the blue, white, red stripes uh, on this kind of metallic finish. And then I.M. Uh, in kind of a paintbrush style across the top. So really beautiful tuck case all the way around. Inner flop here, you've got a quote from Babel. It says, anyone who thinks the magic is in the props should take apart a piano to find the music. There's a really cool little quote there, uh, kind of recognizing the artistry of magicians and saying it's not just in the props. It's, it really takes a magician to bring those to life, just like it takes a musician to bring a piano to life. So very cool there on that little quote. No printing on the interior of the tuck case. That's it, really, really like the tuck case. This is what absolutely drew me to the deck from the very beginning. Now let's take a look at the cards and we'll start with the back design. Now here it is. It is blues and blacks uh, that are kind of making it up on a white background. And it is just an explosion, almost a mural of the Paris streets. So you kind of get streets coming through here and then just all sorts of little elements of Paris all the way around. A little bit of a close-up so you can see the buildings there in the background. We've got actually a few different cards over here. Uh, angels or something over here on the side. Uh, and then you've got Babel walking with his cane there in the center. Uh, and then the very middle here, you have a pair of birds that are reflected. And each one of them has an ace of spades in its mouth. So a very cool and beautiful scene reflected on both sides. So it makes a nice two-way back design. And then you have this rough border, kind of a medium to thin poker border around the edge. Really nice, very detailed, uh, and yet in my mind, kind of a very harmonious design to the back there. So there's the back design. You do get a few extra cards with this one. 
Uh, so you get two jokers, they're identical, and they both feature kind of a silhouette almost of Bebel holding his cane and that cane kind of forms the J in Joker. And you've got Joker, Joker written on the corners. Kind of a cool, fun, but simple little design there for the Jokers. And then you do get one gaff card, you get an extra eight of hearts. And interestingly, I don't know what the significance of this is, but on the eight of hearts gaff, and it's the only card that has this, you'll see the reflected two silhouettes of Bebel walking there in the background. But on the gaff eight of hearts, one of those silhouettes has moved over here to the side. So I don't know if that's intended to be used in magic in some way, but just an interesting little detail. So you can see there the side-by-side -side comparison. That's only on the Eight of Hearts gaff, interestingly. So there are the extra cards. Rest of the deck, you really only have one custom card and that's the Ace of Spades. So the Ace of Spades, no writing on it, just a custom oversized pip in the center. And it's this really pointed, exaggerated spade shape. The base of it is made up of the Eiffel Tower, of course, famous in France. And then you have on the inside of the spade, you've got two people huddled in there and drinking a glass of wine. Uh, and it's got this very kind of hand drawn look to it, almost like it's been colored in with pen or something like that. A very cool, beautiful spade pip there in the center and then standard indices and numbers in the corner. The rest of the deck is pretty much a standard deck. Nothing really to speak of on the rest of it. Uh, you've got, you know, maybe some slight, slight recoloring, but not really much even on the court cards themselves. Not sure. I think this maybe kind of emphasizes a little bit more yellow than some other courts, but it's a pretty standard court all the way around. So standard numbers all the way through. And that's the deck. Uh, it is printed in Taiwan, but it has a beautiful uh, air cushion finish. Handles really, really nicely. Uh, love the, how that thin border kind of shows up there. Uh, so it looks really nice in fans, cuts all of that really beautifully. So no complaints at all in terms of the handling. So that's it. That is the deck. Uh, what do we use this for? Well, it's a good deck for magic or gameplay, an interesting back but really standard faces, make it really suitable for magic or gameplay. I suppose you could use this for cardistry, although I imagine most people really kind of prefer bicycle decks or something like that for their handling. Uh, but you could absolutely use this for cardistry. And, you know, just as an art deck, I think there's just a ton of detail in here between this really stunning case and the really interesting back design. I think it's something where, you know, you could really appreciate some of the art that comes through in this. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Really interesting, kind of a different deck for me, uh, picking up the Bebel deck. Uh, definitely worth a look. I didn't know much about him as a magician, so I got to learn a little bit about him and see some of his work. Uh, definitely like what he does. And like how his deck of cards turned out. So hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more deck reviews, uh, what decks you're interested in. Subscribe for deck reviews and unboxings that I'll always be putting up on the channel. And that's it for this one. And I'll see you for the next one.